Welcome to the annual review of F-17 of Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. Let me begin by congratulating the chief executives and the entire organization of auto and farm division for delivering a wonderful result in a turbulent year. During FY17, the auto industry were almost feeling like, why me? Many activisms like judiciary activism or NGO activism seem to have concentrated its focus on this industry. Auto industry faced a series of disruptions last year, beginning with NGT ban on sale of large diesel vehicle in NCR region. Then came the odd even experiment and in November it was followed by demonetization and the financial year ended with unexpected ban of selling BS3 vehicles post 31st March. While it was why me for the automotive industry. On the other hand, tractors were having the field prepared and prepped. Starting from the commitment of the government to double farmers income by 2022, a normal monsoon, government policies on irrigation, infrastructure and rural focus budget, all these factors supported tractor demand to turn positive. As a result, we saw a mixed year for m and While the auto sector grew 2.5%, tractors grew by a whopping 23%. I'm happy to share that the company achieved the highest ever tractor market share of 42.7% for the full year, which is the highest in our history. In Q4, with net revenue of 10,612 crores, highest ever in any quarter in M&M's history. The revenue was 4.3% higher than Q4 last year, which resulted in an EBITDA of 1,237 crores, lower than Q4 last year by 4.4%. I'd like to mention that the EBITDA of 1,237 crores includes a one-time impact of 171 crores arising due to ban of BS3 vehicles sale beyond 31st March 2017 by Honorary Supreme Court. If you remove this one-time impact of 171 crores, the EBITDA would have been 1400 crores, which is a growth of 8.8% and operating margin higher by 50 bips compared to Q4 last year. When you see the full year numbers, we see much healthier growth of close to 8% on top line and EBITDA. PBT and PAT after EI saw a robust growth of 13.1% and 16.3% respectively. I must point out that F17 numbers have a 700 crores impact which is kind of one time. 171 crores I already explained to you and 530 crores impact due to expiry of fiscal benefits of Hardwar. On an apple to apple basis, EBITDA would have grown by 20% versus 8% revenue growth and the numbers uh, below that in terms of PBT and PAT will look even more impressive. Moving forward, I want to address one concern that analysts expressed which is on erosion of auto margin in our business. Actually. If I compare m and Auto plus MVML margin, excluding Mahindra Trucks and Buses, which is a business we merged, we actually have improved our margins from 14.1% in FY13 to 14.5% in FY17. Truck business going forward will achieve cash break-even and overall break-even and therefore that allows the margins of the auto business, including MTBD, to even go further in future. We are delighted to share that we could achieve all this at almost no debt, as our net debt equity ratio is zero. Let me talk about how our investment part of the business is doing. As every year, this year we got a healthy inflow in the form of dividends, as well as profit from sale of investments. In fact, this year, we were helped by an additional dividend from Tech Mahindra and sale of 7.5% stake in Mahindra Holidays. 
We also see that the company has created huge value from its investments in Tech Mahindra, Mahindra Finance, Mahindra Holidays. In case of two wheelers, we have decided to shift the strategy from mass market to niche market and also resized organization and ensure lower operating losses to half of what it was last year. Similarly, with Mahindra Retail, we have entered into a strategic alliance with First Cry and that would create better value for all our stakeholders. Adopting a click plus blick model opens up huge opportunities going forward. If you look at the group market cap on 31st March 2017, it stands a little over $25 billion, which has multiplied 115 times in the last 22 years. At a consolidated level, M&M has clocked 11% increase in top line and an impressive 18% increase in profit after tax. While we are happy with our performance in F17, moving forward, we are building our business to be future ready, something we call as future eyes. I started by saying that the auto industry was reeling from a why me effect with so many disruptions in the last year. However, our auto business is ready to reply to these challenges by saying, try me. Auto sector has not only rejuvenated power brands like Scorpio, Bolero and XUV 500, but also getting ready for future by focusing on electric vehicles new age business models like smart shift and improving our global footprints. In the farm equipment business, we are looking to enhance our global reach by strengthening tractor portfolio and acquiring non-tractor farm equipment. We have different business models in different industries and we play to win. We continue to invest in technologies, breakthrough products and innovative business models. With this, we believe that Mahindra is building future-proof, robust organizations for you, me, and everyone's benefit.